Hello, my name is Steve Smith. I'm the Pico Automotive Application Specialist in the UK. And I want to talk about the new site block from Pico. The site block we connect into the fuel priming system, be it positive or negative priming, to measure and monitor fuel pressure. So how do we connect the site block? The Pico Low Pressure Fuel Kit, or Site Block Kit, what do you get in the kit? Well, of course, the site block with the female quick couple rectus connectors. These connect to 10, 8 and 6 quick couple all barbed ends and of course we also have the stop tap. We always recommend you use the stop tap should you detect a leak you can always close off the stop tap. Um, beauty of the quick couples is that we can step down as well so here we're going from 10 through into 8. So in this scenario here uh, for example, if we were looking at negative fuel priming, so on a diesel, we could come through on the 8mm pipe work through the stop tap into the site block, measure the pressure here whilst also monitoring and viewing the fuel out through onto 10mm. Now, why the stop tap? Well, imagine we have the uh, transfer pump here contained inside the high pressure diesel pump. We can close this off whilst the engine's running. The transfer pump is now trying to pull fuel from the tank but is met with a restriction here. Here we can measure maximum negative priming pressure. We can test the efficiency of the pipe work from the site block up to the transfer pump and including the transfer pump. Now what about positive priming pressure? Well very similar um, in this scenario here we would have a um, fuel tank containing our fuel pump here. Fuel pressure would come in, we'd actually have the tap closed. So now we load the fuel pump, we could measure maximum positive priming pressure. So once again that would be in tank fuel pump through into the site block, close the tap, momentarily we would be able to measure peak priming positive pressure and if we uh, if we wanted to we could add to that fuel pump current so we'd see the relationship between fuel pump current and maximum fuel pressure. The site block is connected in series with the fuel line so here then we've removed the fuel pipe from the fuel tank that's attached to the fuel filter and then we place the site block in series so between the fuel tank pipe and the fuel filter we pass through the stop tap into the site block through the pipe work back into the filter. So why do we use the site block? Well the site block enables us to tap in conveniently, we can look at priming pressure, we can look for aeration in the fuel via the site block, we can look at the way in which the fuel travels through the site block, uh, we can then load the fuel pump by closing the stop tap and then of course when we switch the engine off we want to see the fuel remain in the site block so we don't want to see fuel running back to the fuel tank. WPS is connected to the site block now and if we run Picoscope we can see that the negative priming pressure remaining in the system is negative 42 millibar. Now if we start the vehicle we can see how that negative pressure falls to our idle priming pressure. Now the transfer pump is rotating and we have a negative priming pressure at idle speed of minus 139 millibar. I'm now going to close the stop tap and we can see how the transfer pump is having to perform. If we pull the signal ruler down we can see there that we have 460 millibar negative priming pressure. So that's the performance of the transfer pump against the closed stop tap. We now switch the engine off and we can see our negative priming pressure return but not return to atmospheric pressure once again to around about negative 47 millibar and the site block remains primed with diesel. So what have we proven there? We've proven that the transfer pump is effective with a maximum negative priming pressure of uh, 460 millibar approximate. Yeah. That the integrity of the fuel priming circuit is good 
fuel filter is good, no air leaks in the system and the fact that now the priming pressure remains below atmospheric means we don't have an air leak into the system from the fuel pump right back to the fuel tank. Now if we were to leave Picoscope connected for a number of hours we would hope to see that that priming negative pressure remains below atmospheric pressure. So on this system we have a good negative priming diesel fuel supply.